So the pitch mod LFO is a dedicated LFO that will modulate the pitch of all three oscillators. This is the amount dial. The speed is limited to 27.5 Hz, just like the filter LFO. It's meant to be used for vibrato, so I suppose the range is appropriate. You can change the waveform from here, and the list is exactly the same as the filter LFO waveforms. Let's try a different shape. Even at the highest value for the amount dial, you don't get extreme pitch modulation, which again suits its purpose of vibrato generation. But you can't get that retro sound of random pitch modulation with, let's say, a sample and hole wave shape. The amount depth is just not high enough to create that, but I suppose you could create that via other means like using the arpeggiator or even the modulation options that we look at later on. There's a sync control here, just like the filter LFO. So you can set the speed and musical subdivisions of your host tempo. Though this is fixed at what they call free, so it's always running and always synced to tempo. You can't change it up like the filter LFO. And it's also a mono LFO, so all notes get the same modulation. Now this next section is not associated with the pitch mod LFO, but I'll cover it here anyway as it's quite straightforward. It relates to your pitch bend control. You can set how much of your keyboard's pitch wheel bends the note either up or down. And you can set them both independently. So I can have a pitch down of 2 semitones and pitch up of 12 semitones if I want. I like how you get this visual feedback of your pitch bend control here. The range is quite wide, 4 octaves either side. Alright, moving along, in the next tutorial, we look at what is called the free modulation section in Predator. <laughs>